a blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of Psalms, chapter 33 and verse 1. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise Him. Yesterday we learned that only the righteous can praise the Lord, irrespective of their circumstances, because they have a deeper knowledge of the Creator. When a person draws closer to the Lord and meditates on His Word, he is able to praise the Lord joyfully, even during trying seasons. Do you remember Paul and Silas? In Acts chapter 16, they were imprisoned for setting a young girl free from demon possession and slavery. But God's Word proclaims that even though they were beaten and abused, in the midst of the accusations and suffering, they continued to praise the Lord. Our Lord Jesus promised that we will face challenges in this life. But the good news is that our Lord is an overcomer and therefore so are we. John Wesley was about 21 years of age when he went to Oxford University. He came from a Christian home and he was gifted with a keen mind and good looks. In those days, he was a bit snobbish and sarcastic. One night, however, something happened that set in motion a change in Wesley's heart. While speaking with a porter, he discovered that the poor fellow had only one coat and lived in such bad conditions that he didn't even have a bed. Yet, he was an unusually happy person, filled with gratitude to God. Wesley, being immature, thoughtlessly joked about the man's misfortunes. And what else do you thank God for? He said with a touch of sarcasm. The porter smiled and in the spirit of meekness replied with joy, I thank him that he has given me my life and being, a heart to love him and above all, a constant desire to serve him. Deeply moved, Wesley recognized that this man knew the meaning of true thankfulness. Many years later, in 1791, John Wesley lay on his deathbed at the age of 88. Those who gathered around him realized how well he had learned the lesson of praising God in every circumstance. Despite Wesley's extreme weakness, he began singing the hymn, I'll praise my maker while I have breath. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to embrace the truth so that I may rejoice in every circumstance. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.